I'm Taku and today we are in New Way and we are on a hunt for coconut crab. New Way is a South Pacific island nation of just 1500 people. This beautiful island is surrounded by large fish in a thick jungle filled with coconut crabs. This is going to be an epic adventure. As, as bait for the small fishes. Oh, yeah, now, yeah. Now at... Uh, yeah, I see them. In the season. It's the season for the, for the ah. small fishes. Mm -hmm. I was wondering about your... Uh, My fishing pole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw them fishing for it this morning. Oh, so you went down. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. Here's a small one. Oh yeah? Already? Oh yeah. He's on that coconut. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy, he's just eating the coconut. I don't want to bother you too much, buddy. Little guy. That's so cool. We have our local guide, Lava, with us, showing us around the forest. And uh, we've been in Nui for a few days now, and it's an incredible place. So beautiful. Niue is an island nation in the South Pacific and it's a country of less than 2,000 people. Less than 2,000. And here, this is one of the only countries where you can actually go hunting for these coconut crabs and you can actually keep them and eat them as long as they're big enough. In the majority of the world, coconut crabs have become nearly close to extinct because they're so slow and they're just they can't get away from people if they're hunting them down here in Newey that almost happened to a while ago because they were exporting a bunch of coconut crabs and people were making money off of it but the government shut that down now it's illegal to export any coconut crab so the coconut crabs have come back and it is in abundance here in Newey and the people here eat them um, as they wish because now unlike before it is, they're plentiful. And since there's only le less than 2,000 people, they're all over the place. And we get to experience it firsthand because we've come here. I feel like, I feel like Jocelyn would be good at this. <laughs> He'd be good at spotting these guys. So far we've found one small one. Let's see if Jocelyn can spot any. Well, I think it's kind of like mushroom hunting. Yeah, it's kind of like mushroom hunting. All these empty coconuts. Looks like, uh, the coconut crabs have been here. Oh, there's one. I think I just saw one crawl and she's going to it. She's going to catch it. I heard something over there. I heard something. Oh, she's got a different crab. Yes. We also use this one as a bait. Oh, okay. For the little fishes. Yeah, nice. Only these two. Yeah, are you gonna, are you gonna do fishing tomorrow? Maybe later on Maybe today. Maybe later on today. <laughs> yeah. Our route, where we, the, the tube is like a uh, potato. Oh, really? So we dig it up and yeah. uh, scrape it and we use the powder oh. to cook in uh, coconut uh, juice. Oh. But uh, the stem here, we use for... Uh, I scrape this and we weave it into a hat. There's one here, huh? Little one. Can you see that inside the hole? The big one. Oh, I can just barely see it. Yeah. Yeah. So this hole right there, right in there. But there's a small one up there. Yeah. Oh, she got it. Oh. oh. It's already dead. Oh, it's a dead one. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a big one too. That's huge. I don't know what happened. Maybe the wild pig got it outside here. Yeah. Before it went inside. Mm. So that's why it wasn't moving. Yeah. Wow, this <laughs> thing is huge. Mm. Look at that. It's a massive claws. That's the first time I see that one die like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Because its body is missing. Yes, the abdomen mm -hmm. and the back. That's what the pigs eat. Maybe. The wild pigs? 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, maybe, huh? Stinky, huh? Smell. Oof. It does smell once they're dead. Oh man, thing's huge. Wait. So you open it for them so yeah. they don't have to work as hard and they'll just eat that? Yeah, come sometimes sometimes they, they come and they open. This is one of the handwork. Oh. Wow, how do they open that? So tough. From here. There's a hole here mm -hmm. where you can open like a mouth and two two eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So they just yeah, the, go the, for the mouth. Go for the mouth. Oh. Especially the big ones. Some will come and go with it until it's open. Wow. So strong. Huh? It's very strong. It can bite your finger off. Yeah. Not something that I would look forward to. But I've been nearly bitten. You have? Yeah. Oh. I was nearly bitten sometimes. Just yeah. have to be careful not to. So uh, with this one, mm -hmm. I'll just put this here. Mm -hmm. So the hole here, mm -hmm. you can see from the the roots that there's one in there. Oh, one living in there. Yeah. So I'll just put this as far or as near so that too near. I won't be able to get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've set up some bait. Hopefully, a coconut crab that's living in there comes out and starts eating that coconut. I would come out of my cave for a coconut. Yeah? Or a mango. Or a mango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Jocelyn is dying. Yes. She's dying. She's not fit for this kind of. Well, even climate. all the locals have said it is so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they all said they just want to close down and not work yeah. for a month. <laughs> yeah, it's really humid. It's like 100% humidity. But uh, the temperature is probably like 80 degrees. You look as cool as a cucumber. Always cool. Stay cool, my friend. Germinating coconut. Yeah, the sprouting yeah. coconut. Look at that. And what do you call that part, the center? Uh, new tupu. New tupu. Really sweet. Is it sweet? Yeah, yeah, this one's sweet and spongy. Yeah. My chicken loves this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a chicken. <laughs> Creamy, kind of juicy. Like if I squeeze it, it's probably gonna a lot of coconut milk. Look at that. Oh wow. Is this what you make coconut cream with? No. No, huh? Just uh, just uh, 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 the the main part. You scrape this one. Mm-hmm. But not like this. Just uh, without the. Without the yeah. Without this part, right? Yeah. It's literally like a sponge. <laughs> How much liquid there is in there. <laughs> so cool. Even this one here we can eat. Oh really? So what did you bake with uh, in Jay's umu yesterday? Oh. Must be the taki then. Yeah, he, he had all kinds of stuff. This, you just eat it like this? Yes. Oh wow, really tender. Tastes like asparagus. Tastes, tastes like exactly like asparagus actually. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. Yeah, crunchy, like a perfectly quickly blanched asparagus. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Yeah, never go hungry in the bush. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now remember this one when I need to do a survival. <laughs> when I need to <laughs> when I need to survive. Yes. <laughs> Very awesome. cool. This makes them slippery to hold. Oh, yeah. But this one can still bite your finger off. Oh yeah. And this is a male. Okay. Nice. You can tell because there are no whiskers at the side here. Oh, okay. Whiskers here for the female holds the eggs. Ah, uh, yeah. Little guy. <laughs> yeah. 
Egypt. You can just see how perfect this habitat is for coconut crabs. So many little holes, nooks and crannies within these rocks that are just all over the place in this jungle. And they have a ton of food, like their favorite coconuts. Oh, there's one in there. Can I catch him? My first coconut, they're very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Imagine you catching a bigger one than that. Yeah, they're <laughs> really strong. Like they're pinching my fingers with their legs. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's like poking me. Yeah, another oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> what a unique looking crab. Like it looks like a hermit crab without the shell. Like blue. they don't have a house. Yeah, super blue. Very blue and kind of purple in the back. Really cool. This is another male. Okay, I'm going to let you go. There you go. Got some spotted one going up a tree. He's quick. He was just on the ground. He was super This is a little bit bigger. Where? Right on this rock. Oh, see, I told you Jocelyn would be good at this. Actually, there's a bunch on this rock. There's two on this rock. I knew Jocelyn would be good at this. She's spawning a bunch. Look at this guy. This is kind of soft, this one. That's a bigger one right there. Not, still not that big, though. Oh, you see, its eyes are like red. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Lava says that uh, all the big ones right now, they went to spawn. And they spawn in the ocean. She says they crawl down off the cliff during high tide and lay their eggs in the ocean. Oh, she got a big one over there. This one's hungry. <laughs> wow, look at the abdomen. It's a bit small. Wow, look at that one. Wow. That one, is that still too small? Nope. That's that a good one. Good size. Good size, yeah. Much better than the big one. Oh, nice. Nice and sweet, the meat. Oh, so cool. Wow, look at how big the back. Another way for you to hold. Oh, just just uh, like a... Yeah, just grip hanger. it like this. <laughs> you want to try yeah. this one? Yeah, yeah. Try. You just hold them? Yeah, much like better that. when you try rather than when you try and grab them. Oh. Look, you can't really do much when you when you hold them like this. You just hook them on the back. Oh, shoot, shoot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, you got my watch. <laughs> <Careful>. <laughs> Nearly got my watch. Yeah, and your hand. And my hand. Look at this guy. This is another male, right? Sorry? This is a male? Right? Yeah. Look at him. This is a good size one right here. This is the one that we can keep. So purple, he almost got me, dude. It, like one of these, his legs hooked onto my watch. Um, little, little slots. Whoa, Whoa. what was that? <laughs> it's just a leaf. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he almost grabbed me. Close call. If you get pinched by one of these, you're done for. So now you just carry him around the forest? The jungle? Yeah, I guess so. Here's my, here's my pet now. <laughs> you put him on a leash so you don't hold him. Oh, that's the hermit? Yeah. It's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. And he got you. Nearly got me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're strong too, huh? Yeah, they're strong. Yeah. They can still bite your finger. Oh yeah, I see one. I see it. That's a pretty good one. See if I can try to get him. He might run. Oh, there's two. There's a, another bigger one underneath. One? Yeah, inside the hole. There's like a massive one in the hole. But this one. Oh, 
it's oh, hard. It's got in. Yeah. But is it this big one? You see this huge one? Oh, yeah. And it's coming out. Big hole in there. Yeah, it's big in there. Mm. <laughs> Took it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's deep in there. That's good eyes. Sorry about that. That's okay. No, I missed it. I missed I it. I know, you went too slow. <laughs> yeah. Jocelyn with the good eyes, though. Yeah. I knew she'd be good at it. <laughs> I knew she'd be good. How long does it take them to come back out? Um, It's going to stay there until late, until it knows nobody's around. It, are the bigger ones, are they female or are they, they can males The bigger big? ones are mostly male. Oh, okay. The biggest uh, females like that one in the sack. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Cool. They don't come any bigger. Oh, that one, that was a big one. <laughs> no, he ain't moving. <laughs> he ain't moving, that's for sure. Ooh, it's hot. Wow, she went ahead and she wanted to get one. Lava got a big one. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at the hole. Big. So the back is hurt. Oh, really? It's not very strong now. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I thought I was going to lose it. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah, this one is incredibly blue. This one. Big, big one. Wow. Wow, this this is so much fun, guys. That is just incredible. Oh, look, she just opened a coconut for me. Oh, fresh, fresh juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ah, refreshing. Oh, the coconut I liked it. Try to pull the mic down. Here are the lungs. Mm -hmm. In here is the heart. Oh, and in in here is the heart. Yeah, yeah. It's like this is the head, and this is the. These are the eyes. Mm -hmm. These two. But what's your favorite part to eat? All of it. All of it. Yeah. yeah. I used to like this, but now that I'm old, it's a bit rich. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Especially when it's been feeding on coconut. Oh, I see. Mm. And why are there so many coconut crabs here? Before, like, they used to export them, right? Yes. And then... No, not really export, but families. You uh -huh. know, families, they come and they go back and they take uh, maybe one or two bins of ungas. Ah. Big ones. Uh-huh. And they said it's um, going to slow down the population of the Unga. Yeah. But I don't think so. Maybe we, in other areas, but not our area. Not here, yeah. yeah. But it's good that way. Don't take them overseas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if they want to eat Unga, they can, they can come back here and eat. Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that you have to come here, in yeah. a way, to experience. It, yes. Yeah. And exper experience the living, the life, the culture. Yeah. Yeah, we've been having an incredible time here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do the uh, coconut crabs ever, like, do you see them on the roads or anything, or they just stay here? You can see them at night. Sometimes, if, mm. if you are there at the right time, you get big ones. Mm. Sometimes, <laughs> it's mostly little ones crossing down to the sea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we go now? Yeah, we got them. Yes. Very happy with that. Okay, Can so I carry this? Yeah, I'll carry it. But I'm okay to carry that for you. No, I'll, I'll carry it, I'll carry it. <laughs> <laughs> got my unga. We're <laughs> going to have a feast tonight. Yeah. You wow, can can't wait. You can use the lime with the tail or any spice you want. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, I love it. But I prefer just... Just by itself? Yes. Oh, That's okay. the taste of the unga, by itself. Wow. Sounds good. Christmas is here. Look, I'm like Santa. This is one of the only places in the world where you can experience the coconut crab. And they call it here, Unga. Let's see what they got. The one here is still in the hole. They're trying to... Nah, too no. late. <laughs> too late. Yeah. yeah. 
That's the one uh, over there. Yeah. <laughs> Still there. It's a good oh, size. Yeah. That's a good size. Yeah. Oh, it's fast. Yeah. Try that one. <laughs> Let's see. Try holding that one. Right. Here, hold that. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, so strong. <laughs> big, big claws. Yeah, yeah. they're all males. Yeah. This one. You haven't seen the female one. Females around here now. Oh, really? Oh, this one's time. purple, kind of like a light yeah. purple. This one's really blue. But when they cook, they all have the same color. Yeah. Color. All, all red, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. And if you watch my other video, you know you can get Surfshark VPN 83% off and three extra months for free by entering promo code Outdoor Chef. Now let's go cook this unga. Well, we're back at our place now. Uh, that was a lot of fun looking for those coconut crabs. And they do it at night sometimes as well. And then at night, they're crawling a lot more, but it's just a lot safer during the day. So she wanted to take us during the day. Um, Anyways, if you guys end up coming to Niue, which there's only flights from New Zealand uh, to here. And yes, we were in New Zealand for a few days and then we came here and then we're going to go back to New Zealand, spend a few months there. But anyways, if you want to contact Lava and if you come to Niue, you want to try that out, uh, I'll leave her contact information in the description. But she also gave us some papaya and some fresh limes uh, from her garden. So we're going to use those in the cook. And yes, we're gonna cook up that coconut crab. Probably one of the only places in the world where you can actually catch and eat these coconut crabs. Uh, one of the more, more rarest catching cooks that we're ever gonna do. This is a treat. So we're gonna make some tasty food right now. The coconut crab, I put it in the freezer. It's chilling in there. And that's just to put him to sleep and then we're gonna boil it. Now let's prep some stuff. I got a cucumber, got papaya, we got this cute like really orange pineapple looks delicious and I got some chilies as well and limes and cabbage basil so we're gonna cut all that up and we're gonna make some island style vermicelli noodles uh, I don't know if that's a thing I'm just making it up to be honest but uh, I'm calling it island, island style because there's fruits in there the pineapple and the papaya uh, and the vermicelli noodles all right let's get to it
I'm gonna add lime juice, a little bit of vinegar, a lot of fish sauce, good amount of local honey. passion fruit and chilies. I'm gonna mix that together and that's gonna be our sauce for this vermicelli bowl. Mm, damn, that's good. All right, all right, let's cook this crab out of the freezer. Should be knocked out by now. And uh, this is the biggest pot I have. Pretty small, so hopefully it fits. Yeah, he's completely asleep now. It's pretty cold. All right, let's, we'll make him fit. Oh my gosh, just barely. Just barely. And we'll give that about 10 minutes and we'll be ready to eat. It's getting there. Oh, the top is still uncooked just because it doesn't even fit. And it's not even getting steamed because the water's just <laughs> boiling over. I'm gonna just flip this guy. Shall we try to flip him? See, the lid doesn't even close. <laughs> Should be done shortly. Hey, I'm just gonna use this baking tray. It's the biggest thing I have <laughs> at the moment. And then you just put all the noodles in here. Spread it out. I also cut up some cabbage here, so we'll lay that on first. Give it a little dark background. We got cucumbers, pineapple, and papaya. All right, now we got some basil as well to finish it off. Ooh, that looks delicious. Take a look at this crab, it's so oily. You can just see the the fat there. The oils all just come out of the crab. It's amazing. We got fresh coconuts as well. We literally husked them ourselves yesterday. No, you just slice it through. Just keep slicing? Yep, just slice through. Yep. Slice it off. Yep. And then you just have to look for the the mouth. Right there. Grab a straw. Boom. There we go. Coconut. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, that's cold. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nothing better than a cold coconut. This is our island style vermicelli coconut crab. Oh my gosh. Looks like a beast on there. This Crab is giant. Yeah. Did you crack them at all? Not yet. Take a plate, get some noodles first. I'll just go for it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. some sauce for you. The sauce is pretty spicy, so. Yeah. Some sauce on here. Let's try this island style vermicelli. That is very, very refreshing. That's perfect for uh, this hot weather <laughs> that is so hot today. Well, it's been hot every day. Spicy, refreshing. Got the fish sauce. All right, I'm going in with this claw. Let's get the claw. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that, that is the Coconut crusher. We got coconut crabs with our coconuts. All right, here we go. Oh, for me? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You didn't need it. <laughs> I thought it was just going to fall off. Mm. Oh, that, that's huh? really good. All right, let me, get a, let me get at this. Fresh cooked coconut crab. Look at the meat, super flaky. Give it a try. Oops. 
How did you break that? Oh, that is so good. This crab is incredible. How, wow. This is the best of the best from yeah. any crab. It doesn't have that, um, how do you describe it, the heavy feeling of a uh, king crab. Because mm -hmm. king crab, you just one leg and it's kind of like, ooh, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's so flaky. If you first look at it by itself, if you just look at the meat, it doesn't look like crab. It doesn't look like crab meat. I don't know what to say. Besides, wow, that is incredible. I think it tastes like a cooked spot prawn that's been soaked in butter. Like, not just dipped in butter, soaked in it. The piece that I'm really curious about is this big old tail portion. I have no idea what to do with that. <laughs> well, let's go into it. Oh my god, it's juicy. Guts there. Oh my gosh, this is the nail, so that's the actual the <laughs> sperm. Oh, oh my god, I'm pouring. Okay, so there's like a lot of juice coming out of here. Boom! Oh, it's like drinking butter. It's so rich. It's literally like oily, buttery, like creamy. Do I peel the tail or do I go into it? I would assume you try to peel it. Oh yeah, the, it's coming off. This whole layer of skin is coming off. Oh well, I don't really know what is going on here. It came off. Like this tail right here. I don't honestly don't know what to do. It's so squishy. Oh, it's all falling out. <laughs> oh boy. And let me just bite into it. I don't, I don't know what else to do. Wow, it's like chewy, soft, it's kind of like a... Uh... Whoa, that's equivalent to the crab butter. That is so rich, it's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crab butter wrapped in a, like, a, like a dough, like a chewy dough. Chewy, crabby dough. I can't believe that. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect with that tail portion. But it's so rich. It's oh it's so rich. Why is it so uh <laughs> it's wiggly, huh? It's like flabby. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I bet if I mix the noodles up in there. Oh yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it, guys. Well, what a unique catch and cook experience like honestly i don't know where else i can do this i don't know if we're ever going to be able to eat another coconut crab ever again so we're going to cherish this moment eat the entire thing mm -hmm. and just want to say thank you all for watching if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe we love new way this is an awesome place so lucky so lucky that our friend Chris told us about this place and we decided to come here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.